I believe frontline journalism is important. Without these photos and videos and firsthand experience, we can't really tell the world how bad it might be. It's the event with the second most recognition in recent American history after 9-11. Jim would have been horrified by that. I think I was in denial about how dangerous this really was. These four guys with guns, they stopped the taxi and they put Jim into the back of their van. I didn't know if I was going to see him again. We didn't know who was holding him. I was frantic. ISIS was on nobody's radar. They threatened to kill Jim. I hadn't heard Jim's voice in two years. I never, ever imagined that it would end in that fashion. We lost all hope in captivity. But James didn't. He saw the light instead of the dark. There's physical courage, but that's nothing compared to moral courage. If I don't have that moral courage, we don't have journalism. I believe frontline journalism is important. Without these photos and videos and firsthand experience, we can't really tell the world how bad it might be. It's the event with the second most recognition in recent American history after 9-11. Jim would have been horrified by that. I think I was in denial about how dangerous this really was. These four guys with guns, they stopped the taxi and they put Jim into the back of their van. I didn't know if I was gonna see him again. We didn't know who was holding him. I was frantic. ISIS was on nobody's radar. They threatened to kill Jim. I hadn't heard Jim's voice in two years. I never, ever imagined that it would end in that fashion. We lost all hope in captivity, but James didn't. He saw the light instead of the dark. There's physical courage, but that's nothing compared to moral courage. If I don't have that moral courage, we don't have journalism.